Good day, my farm and friends. Welcome back to Bally Spring and the FS22 version of the Grease Monkey Challenge. I, here, headline, breaking news. I am an absolute liar and mouse judges me. Yep, two things to learn from today. I am an absolute liar and mouse judges me. My good friend, my English rodent friend judges me. I found that out a little bit earlier. I'm heartbroken. I'm sick. I'm sick to my stomach. I don't even know what to say. He would rather go on Call of Duty, wherever the hell it is, and shoot people than go pew 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 in the But anyways, welcome to Valley Spring. It is still January. It is almost noon. I have 103279 bucks in the bank. There's been a few changes since the last time that we saw each other. Right now, I am going back and forth in my handy dandy little truck that has no brakes. And I am bringing water for my water spout over there to the uh, factory. Now, the uh, other building that you see here, you did not see last time. I put that in. I was debating it, and I put it in. It is a, um, well, that's the farm factory. This is the, um, what do they call this building again? This is the uh, farm supply factory. This is making TMR. And I put this in to make TMR and a few other things. And the best part about it is I can put bales directly into this. Hence, I no longer need a bale storage. So my bale storage didn't work. I came, I came on, I was taking bales out, and then I quit working. Left the game, came back in, started working again. So I got all the bales out of my bale storage, and I brought down here, and I got rid of the bale storage. So if you go into my production, I now have the farm supply factory, which I put in last time. Or no, the one. this is the one I just put in. So I am making total mixed ration. So I got my hay in there. Um, wait. I got my silage in there. I got my straw in there. And I got my hay in there. And I am making total mixed ration. It's a beautiful thing. It's an absolutely beautiful thing. I had a, I had some grass bill. I thought they were hay bill, but I had some grass bills. And now they're hay. So, I mean, that's working out perfectly. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing. So I got that here. And I am putting water in here because I have a plan. Jacinta B and I sat down and we came up with a brilliant, brilliant plan that we are going to grow three crops on this farm. We are going to grow sugar beets, potatoes, and oats. Three, three crops. And we are going to produce three things. We are going to produce cheese. We are going to produce cakes. And we are going to produce oat, or uh, premium potatoes. Premium potatoes. Yep. So... I need water to produce my premium potatoes, hence me going back and forth here. Look at that. I have really wrecked up my uh, pavement in my yard because all you see is tire tracks going back and forth. And, uh, yeah, and there's no brakes in this truck. So 13,000 liters at a time I have been going back and forth. I think I'm almost there. Oh, crap, wrong button. No, all right button. Um, let's go here. So I need water. So I have went back and forth 181,989 liters worth. So I'm almost there. 200,000 liters, I think, I think will fill this up. So I'm trying to get water in there. Anyways, why I say I'm a liar is because I told, my, I told you, I told myself, I said I'm not cutting down another tree. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Well, I'm going to cut down another tree. And here's why. I'm going to cut down another tree. Let's uh, fill that up here. Because I have this land right here, right? And there's all these freaking trees in the way. And I have this property. And I have that property over there. And I have that property over there. And these trees are kind of like right in the way. So I want to cut down just these trees. I don't, I'm not going out wood chipping. I'm just going to cut down these trees and a few trees that are in the way. Because if I show you, look at the map. Here's the fancy dancy map. Um, I'm right here. Okay, here is this farm. So right here, this grass area is the trees. And 42, 41, and 40. So everything I have on my property except field 46 is grass, right? Field 46 is barley. It's growing. It's in good shape. I'm not going to touch it. But... Field 42, well, 40 right here, 41 and 42, I want to make into one field. I want to take out the hedges, 
And the trees in between, I want to take out these trees. I want to make that one big field. 39 and 38, take out the hedge, make that one field. 43, 45, take out the hedge, make that one field. 46 will be a field. 44 will be a field. So I'll have one, two, three, four, five fields here. And then up at the other farm, I will have 104, 103, 102. Eight fields. I'll have eight fields all together. So that is what I'm going to do. Now, the other reason, okay, let's be honest. When I was doing all this, and after we left last time, when I put in the building and I was debating doing other things, I thought, okay, what am I going to do next? So I ended up putting in this building that cost 50 grand. So I had to spend some money for that. Um, I ended up having to borrow, so now I am back in debt. And this is where I, this is where I got in trouble with Grease Monkey, James, Mouse, Dust Bunny, Trout Pat. Everybody else yelled at me, and they they actually hurt my feelings, and I was near tears. Um, I'm two hundred and fifty thousand back down in the debt. I'm in the hole. I was feeding animals. I was doing all this. I was doing all that. I was out of money. And I needed a few things, so I had to borrow more money. So I had this great plan that I was going to sell my two red tractors because one tractor has 18.5 hours on it. The other one has 19 hours on it. They go one mile an hour up the hill. I'm getting tired of it. I have eight fields now to create and work. I need something that's going to do the job. So I was going to sell them. And then as I was about to sell them, they reminded me, well, you can't sell them. You have a loan. Said, oh, crap. You're right. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to buy another tractor. I'm going to buy a wood chipper. I'm going to go out and do all this. Well, then they said, well, you can't buy that tractor because you already own a medium-sized tractor. I'm like, oh, my goodness gracious me. So I ended up buying a wood chipper on sale. It could have been mine. It could have been Grease Monkeys. I don't know. So I ended up buying that on sale. So we are all good in that department. Um, so since last time, I got all the bales down here making TMR. I put in that building and i have plowed i have plowed go back to the menu here i have plowed uh these three fields so these three fields are plowed i gotta pick up stones and i'm gonna take the stones and i am gonna put them into this building here and i'm gonna make lime with the stones so i have that yet to do plus i have all these fields to combine get rid of the trees get rid of the hedges and make them nice fields that means I got to lime, fertilize, plow, combine. I mean, I have a lot of work ahead of me, and I'm kind of scared about it, to be honest with you. And I also, oh, that's the wrong button. I also, oh, crap, that's the wrong button there again, too. I can't find the right button. Um, I bought a telehandler up for the cattle farm. I bought the Schaefer telehandler. I did buy that, and that's going to work out good because here's a little sneaky sneaky. I can perch. I purchased a, a, a telehandler bale fork, so I have that for that. But I also produce. I also bought a skid steer pallet fork to get rid of my wool pallets that happens to fit on that. So I didn't break the rules because I have two different categories that fit that machine. So I'm all excited about that. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of it that I've done. I have my tractor, my loader, my bucket my tractor and plow down at the store ready to be sold but i can't do that because i have a debt so i'm kind of in a real pickle that's why i'm a liar because i said i'm not cutting down another tree but to be honest with you i'm only cutting these down to get my fields in order because i want to combine these two and then these are in the way i can make use of this field so we're all good in that department i think that kind of catches us up now i did say that we were going to grow potatoes sugar beets and oats on the farm so you're going to ask what are you going to produce with those three crops i am going to produce with my factory right spanking there this high quality good looking factory i am going to make premium potatoes i'm going to harvest my potatoes and with a combination of water i can make premium potatoes which is a huge upcharge even more than french fries that's all i need water potatoes premium potatoes big bucks the other thing i'm going to make is cheese i'm going to make some cheese and all i need with cheese is my um milk my milk i'm going to turn it into butter the butter will go into cheese i think i think i have that right i have notes here uh i am going to make cheese where's my cheese cheese yep 
Oh, all I need is milk. Milk is going to make my cheese, which is also going to be make pig food, which is a byproduct. So that is all good. That's all I need is milk to make cheese, and cheese is worth big bucks. Cheese right now is uh, going for crap. Low season, thirty five hundred bucks for one thousand liter. So I'm going to make cheese. Premium potatoes right now are going for nine seventy seven. So premium potatoes, cheese, and the last thing I'm going to make is cakes. And here's the reason why. Cakes right now are going for $6,500 6, per 1,000 liters of cakes. The problem with cake is, in order to make cake, I have to... Oh, I got to make flour. I got to have sugar. I got to have milk. I got to have eggs. I've got to have... Um, um, that is uh, butter. And I gotta have strawberries. So the flour, I'm gonna grow oats because oats has a good yield and they have the highest price. So I'm gonna make grow my oats, make flour. Sugar is coming from the sugar beets. Milk comes from my cows. Eggs comes from my ducks and my chickens. Butter comes from the milk. So I'm gonna making cheese. I'll have to make a little bit of butter too. And strawberries, which is gonna come from my greenhouses, which I have to buy and put down. So. That is everything in a nutshell. Aha. Uh -huh. I am also have a bunch of sheep, and I am making wool. So my wool is going to make fabric wool, right? going to make fabric wool, which in turn, fabric wool is going to make clothes. This, this, is, this is the big kicker right here. And clothing, right now, 13660 bucks. So I have a plan. Just need to be, and I have a plan. So, I think that kind of gets us caught up, like, as I said. I'm sorry I kind of rambled on there a little bit fast, but um, I, I, I'm still a little torn up about, the, about Mouse judging me. I mean, he really did. He, I mean, they're all calling me cheaters. And I'm not cheating. I'm, I'm not trying to. I, I made a mistake. I was trying to sell the equipment. I had a loan. They, they corrected me, and I said, hey, I'm going to fix it. I'm not doing it. So, the dilemma I have right now is I have 103000 bucks in the bank. I have a loan of 250000 so I can't buy any more land. I can't sell any more equipment until I have the loan paid off. So I need another, whoa, $147,000. So down at this store, which I will see there in a second. That was a pretty fast second. So I have my one red tractor, which has 18.5 hours on it, with the uh, plow here, the John Deere plow. I have the other one that has 19 hours on it with the loader tractor. I'm selling those, but I can't sell them. I have a loan. But what I'm going to do is I am going to hop into the one tractor. Look at that baby go. Oh, start. There we go. I am going to unhook the bucket. There we go. And, of course, I bought this Brux on sale for 38000 bucks. I'm going to hook up to that. I don't have a trailer. I do have the one trailer that I bought with my truck, but I am just going to use the Brooks. And, uh, oh, come on there. There we go. And I am just going to go down, and I'm going to start cutting the trees down. I apologize. I didn't mean to lie. I'm not, I'm not trying to cut down trees to make money. Well, that, that, that's an outright lie. I am lying twice now. Because, yes, I am going to make some money, but I want the space for my field. That's what I'm saying. I want the space for my field. So, I'm going to cut those trees down. Yes, I will have the space for my field, but I will also have a little bit of money to get me out of my situation that I have come into. And, and last time, I was so excited. I thought this thing was going to work out perfectly, but it has not. And uh, we're, going to, we're going to remedy it right now. We're going to get the brooks. We're going to go cut down the trees in my way. We're going to create some fields. We're going to grow some prop, crops, and we're all going to be happy. Potatoes, sugar beets, and oats. Yep, the three crops I want. I thought about doing some other stuff, but man, the the uh, the problem with doing that is just astronomical. I mean, you got to have raisins. Okay, cereal is a big big crop here, or a big uh, money maker. But I don't have raisins. So in order to have raisins, I have to grow grapes. You can't grow grapes here, so that that's a no. That's a no go. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to try it. 
James, James, speaking of James, right now, uh, he is out busy. Oh, crap. He was cutting down some trees, trying to get out of debt. And here's what James, James tried to cheat, too, to be honest with you. He was trying to think that he could borrow money to buy land. I'm like, James, no. If you have a loan, you can't buy land. Come on, man. Stick with the rules. But we we had to educate him. Oh, crap. This is James's driveway. Um, I'm going down the wrong driveway. So, but I'll be honest with you. It, I know the rules. I read the rules. Dust Buddy wrote them out. I know the rules, but it's just a little confusing because I kind of think that I'm going to do this and that without thinking beforehand. Oh, wait. I can't sell that. I have a loan. Can't buy land. I have a loan. And really, I don't need to buy land. I'm not, I'm not looking to buy more land. I'm looking just to farm the land I have. And in order to do that, I, these tractors, I mean, I've suffered one mile an hour going back and forth, up a hill, hauling, oh crap, we got to turn here, hauling bales, and it was, it was a little aggravating. So I wanted to sell both these tractors, and I have one tractor in mind that I want to buy. It's a handy dandy tractor. It's a Havoc Gaming Special. I'm going to buy that tractor. I'm going to buy that trailer. And then I have other equipment. Where, where am I going? There's my farm over there. See, I never understood this. I, this is why I got confused. I can't even find the entrance. My, my house is back there. There's no road going in there. Is I going down? Oh, I, you know what? I bet I had to go down that one road and James is on the left. I'm on the right. I bet you that's the case. But you know what? In order to save time... I am just going to cut through my grass field. I'm going to cut through my grass field. Because that's the other dilemma I have. I have all, every every field I have here except the one over there, which is barley, which is growing, is grass. Grass you can't harvest until April, but I need to plant in March. So all this grass is going to kind of just basically go to waste because I'm going to plow it under and start getting my crops in the ground. So. It is what it is. I'm not, I'm not going to be too worried about it. In a perfect world, I could have been cutting all this grass now and had all this bales and stuff set up to go. But we'll just kind of go with it as it is. So, I have hedges to remove and I have trees to cut down. So, I think the first things first is... Uh, this is the second field. So, the field up there, this field, and that field. I'm going to make one big field. Which I think is okay. I mean, that's, you know, um, instead of having all these little fields divided by a hedge, if I'm growing the same crop, I might as well just go to town and, uh, and combine them. Now, being I don't have a trailer, we're just going to have to rely on this wood chipper at $83,000 83, liters at a time. And we'll just kind of go with it. See, that already gave me 20,000 liters. 20,000 liters of tree, which is a, which is a good penny. That that's that's a good good output there. So that wait wait oh crap I'm in the wrong no this field that okay yeah this is the first field right along the road here but we'll get rid of these trees here on the end. I suppose I could I could leave them. I don't I, re I really don't. I was thinking I was in the second field. Uh, oh no 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 don't do that. See that's what that thing does is it starts oh crap. It starts to unload into the ground. I had that problem earlier. So you have to um, stop it right away. And I hit the wrong button. I unhooked it instead of putting it into the... In the yep, see? There, look at that. Stop. Yeah, I just lost a bunch. Certain spots of the map, it, it'll unload into the ground. Like, that tree can stay. Um, that one tree can stay. I can cut this one down here. See, you're loaded into the ground again. Why? Don't do that. Oh, crap, that's a tree there. Uh, whoa, whoa, now I'm stuck on the bush. Oh, see, now you're loaded. I don't understand why it does that. And that's why I wanted the trailer. But I can't buy a trailer. Number one, I already own a trailer. Um, it certain places, it automatically unloads, and it drives me nuts. I just lost a bunch of wood chips there. Doing it again there for a little bit. All right, I got 
There it is again. I got 52,000 liters in here. It holds 83. I can't believe that it, it just unloads into the ground. That just, it drives me nuts. <clears throat> now I'll go away to the next spot and probably won't do it. Okay, so this field, that field, and the one in the distance there is going to be one field. So this tree has to come down. And it unloads into the ground again. Stop doing that. Oh, that's annoying. It's annoying. Oh, now, see, now I quit 72,000 liters. So I only need 10,000 liters. But we'll stop there. I don't want to cut down the tree down to waste the wood chips. So, yeah, that, that field, that field and the one up there will become one field. So all I have to do is just um, delete these hedges, which should work. Or maybe not. Um, is there a gate there? Oh, there's a gate there. Well, we could delete that. Yep. We'll sell that. Oh, I get 100 bucks for it. But I should be able to delete. Hopefully. There we go. Okay, those are... Oh, I wonder if those are going to disappear at the plow. Or oh, are those going to be stuck there? Oh, I never thought about that. They should disappear at the plow, right? Well, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of what I'm doing then, if they're, if they're going to be sitting there. I wonder if I should go back to the store and grab my tractor and plow and see if they stay there. I'm going to have to find that out first. Yep, be right back. All right, I feel better. I got my plow. I checked it out. They do disappear with the hedges gone and me plowing. So, I'm okay with that then. I guess we can continue on, but holy buckets, I was getting worried there. I thought my whole plan was gonna go downhill. And I, I, I gotta apologize. I, re I really do feel bad about uh, this change of plans here, but you know what? In all honesty, I'm just trying to, to make this farm go. And I, I thought I had a pretty good plan with, um, how, do I, how do I get out of here? With uh, three crops, Potatoes, sugar beets, and uh, oats. And so I'm going to grow three crops. I got eight fields, so I can grow. A <coughs> Excuse me, there I swallowed a mosquito. Oh my goodness is gracious me! So I got three crops. And I'm going to produce three things: premium potatoes. I'm going to produce. Uh, where in the heck is it? Up this way. I really, I really should pay more attention to my own land. To be honest with you. Oh, there we go. Um. Three potatoes, cakes, and cheese. They're three big money makers, and it'll be fun doing it. I need, I need, you know. Oh, this is my uh, my farmyard or my house. I can't even get to my house from my driveway. Well, tell you what. Close your eyes. Pretend there's an entrance here. I'm gonna go through the through the hedge. So it'll be fun to make. I gotta put some greenhouses down to get the strawberries. I'm gonna need a lot of milk. So there's gonna be a possibility that I'm gonna have to add a lot more cows. I, I know I can add more to my pens, but I'm gonna keep going. And with that new um, farm factory, that I can just put all the bales that I that I make off contracts, I can put them right in there, I can make TMR, I can haul it up, and I can feed my cows. And, and the other good thing about it too is that the cakes, the premium potatoes, and the cheese, a byproduct is pig food. So in the same time, I'm still making pig food because I'm going to go through pig food like it's uh, going on a style because, it, holy crap, those pigs are eating a lot of damn pig food. So here is sell everything. James said that he had trouble selling his wood chips in here. But I'll tell you what, James, I'm going to do it right now. I'm selling wood chips, James. I sell everything. So I'm, I'm just going to have to fill up the brooks. I don't have a trailer. It would have to come here and sell a bunch to pay off my debt. I just, I just got to sell enough to, to pay off my $250,000 loan. Then I can sell the, well, no, I'll have to have enough money to, buy, I'll have to pay off the loan. All I want to do right now is buy a tractor with a front loader. But I can't buy a front loader until I sell this front loader and the other tractor. I can't buy another medium tractor. So I gotta pay off my loan and then have enough money to buy that tractor and front loader, which is about a hundred oh a hundred and 
10,000 bucks, I think. Yeah, plus I wanted to buy the trailer. And the reason that is, is I, I've said this before, is that I have farmed the one year on this on this map. I, we, we've been we've been going here, and that farm up there with all the animals on, one mile an hour up that hill gets old. These tractors are very gutless, and and I've said a lot of bad words, and and I and people have, people can testify to this that James Grease Monkey Trail Pet Dust Bunny, they've all said. Man, you're you're gonna you're you're gonna give yourself a heart attack, and I said, "Whoa, holy crap!" I made uh, seventy-two thousand bucks off that little bit, so we're gonna make a goal of it. So they said, "Yeah, you're gonna quit." I said, oh, "I am gonna quit. I'm going one mile an hour up this hill, and this tractor has a hundred and fifty horsepower, and that's all I get." So I think, and the reasoning behind it is, I have eight fields now to get ready to be plant. I gotta have the equipment to get the work done. And these two tractors right now are not gonna get the work done. Plus, if I'm gonna keep doing contracts to satisfy my bale supply, I need all those bales to, to feed all my animals, I've gotta have um, the equipment to do it. So one good medium tractor, which is gonna be the workhorse of the farm, a small tractor, which is gonna do the, the, the piddly stuff, you know, like the uh, tedding, the windrowing, the mowing, and stuff like that, that's fine. But, and maybe there is one large tractor I'm considering. See, you know, I don't know how to get over there. That 90,000 bucks, which I want to get for 90,000 bucks, which would which would do the, the grunt work, which would do the plowing, the cultivating, probably even do some liming. So a medium tractor, a small tractor, and a large tractor that can be efficient, that I can get all this stuff done. And then even if I happen to uh, make some, oh crap, stay in the tractor, don't jump out while it's moving, moron. Um, even if I can make some money, I can uh, buy some more land, but he can't have bits, of course. Okay, let's bring this on, let's try this again. So basically what I'm doing is I just need enough trees cut down to uh, make this worthwhile. Come on. Come on, tree. I can't see in the weeds for crying out loud. You got bushes going on there. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now, the tricky thing about this is the stump. Um, it's hard to get rid of this stump. You get a little portion of it, but some of it remains, so you got to wiggle this thing around there. Oh, no. Don't, don't, eh, don't do that thing again. Oh, man. Yeah, I lost a little bit. Yeah, see, there's a stump. I got to come back and get that. Um, I don't know why it empties out just random places. See, there it is. It's doing it again. Oh, no. It quit. That one went. That one went in a hurry. That one went up pretty good. 32,000 liters. That one went pretty good. 53,000 liters. 74,000 liters, yeah. I don't want to go anymore because I'll just waste the wood chips. So I'll head back. i got to find an easy way to get there. i got to look around here. There's got to be field access and road somewhere. Like, I don't know how to get out of here. You have to go way back that way. All right. Let me have a look around. But that's kind of where we stand. That's the plan as it stands right now. I hope I kind of got you caught up. I, I keep doing things that I, I, I hope I don't forget to tell you. But, oh, man, I got a lot of work to do. If I'm going to turn these eight fields into working fields, I have got a lot of work ahead of me. Plowing, liming, fertilizing, seeding, taking care of animals is going to be busy. It's going to be busy, but I'll love it. Thanks for stopping in. I'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, after my couple sales, sales, sales of wood chips, I'm at 326, 243. So what I'm going to do, my friends, is I'm going to follow the rules. Not going to break any rules. I'm going to repay my $250,000 loan. Get that down to zilch, which will leave me with $81,243. Now... I have no debt. I can sell the equipment legitimately, legally. They can't yell at me now, can they? No, they can't. 
And the best part is nobody is around right now. Um, they're going to give me 27256 bucks for that tracker. If I repair it for 3000 I spend 3000 so I better get over $30,000 for it. I do. I, don't, I, I think it all equals out. I really do. I think it all equals out. Um, we'll sell that. Thank you very much. They're going to give me 37101 for that. I will repair that. Yeah, I get, I get the difference. Okay, we will sell that. I have a chisel plow. 1710 We'll repair that. We'll sell that. I have the uh, front loader. We will repair that for 59 bucks, and we will turn around and sell it. And then I have the universal bucket. I don't know why. I, I can, I'm just going to sell it because I probably might, might be a bigger track with a bigger bucket. And we will sell that. That leaves us, my friends, with 145731 bucks. Here's the problem. I was hoping to get 152000 bucks. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. I want to buy. It. I, I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. But I was looking at the land, and I, I, I went around before I came down here, and I, I removed this hedge. I removed this hedge. That hedge has already been gone. So I removed those hedges, and I removed this hedge here. So that's one field, one field. one. I removed that hedge, one field, one field, one field, one field. This parcel of land right here, 29, 31, and 30. 29, 30, 31. If you buy 31, it's just 27,782 bucks, right? If you buy this one, I was just going to buy those two, but that one also comes with that one. That's 145, 128. So you add the two together, about 150, well, let's see, 128 and 21, 150 to buy those two parcels of land. I was going to do that because I have eight fields now. I have three crops. If I had three fields per crop, I need nine fields. Plus a bonus field, which I would maybe do corn or something. Oh, crap, I don't have enough money. Um, that just really chased my heart. Because I was going I, I to buy those parcels of land and then borrow money to buy some equipment that I want to finish my wood chipping and my plowing. Oh, bang out of order. How am I gonna get? How am I gonna get? I need. To, I only need like ten thousand um, well, dollars. I've got twenty two hundred bucks in cheese already. I've got fourteen thousand three hundred fifty eight dollars in slurry. I've got six thousand nine hundred and thirty eight dollars in goat milk. I got seventy six thousand four hundred seventy seven dollars in total mixed ration. Holy cow! I could be making money in total mixed ration. I don't want to sell the wool. That goes there. Oh crap! The only well, how much money do I've got? I've got uh, how much money do I got? One forty-five. I need one. I need six. Yeah, if I just sold the goat milk, that wouldn't do it. I'd be short, I think, just a pubic hair. Um, I could go sell the slurry. Man, two hundred eleven thousand liters. It, oh, that's a lot. I wish you could just automatically sell it. Say, hey, sell all my damn slurry. Um, now I don't have a <laughs> shoot. These rules suck. Now I don't have a tractor to go do some more wood chipping. I got the brucks right here. Oh man. Um, well, I'll tell you what. I could do it. I could do it backwards. I could borrow the money, buy some equipment, go do the wood chip, and pay off the loan. Yeah, we could do it that way too. That, maybe that would be a smarter. Well, maybe that'd be a. Well, it's, it's just going to be just the same. All right. I am going to buy a medium-sized tractor. And I am going for the Bex Special. I'm going for the Series 7 TVT Havoc Edition. Oh, you betcha. Look at that boy, bad boy. It's the Deutzfar Havoc Edition Tracker. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. No more one mile an hour for me. No siree, Bob. I'm going to town. I'm going to town. So I have my medium-sized tracker. I have a small tracker that I know what I'm buying next. I do. I know exactly what I'm buying. So, $29,000 in the bank. I don't have any debt. I still have some trees to cut down. I've been working hard. I've got all the hedges taken care of. So, I know what I'm doing. I'm buying a special edition small tractor. And then I'm going to buy a uh, international 17 shank chisel plow. I'm not going big here. Yeah, I went big with this tractor. But you know what? Um... As much work as I do, as much as I have ahead of me, 
This is going to be the uh, bad boy workhorse. This is going to be the bad boy workhorse. This is going to cover a lot of stuff. This is going to uh, do our planting for us. It's going to do a lot of baling. It's going to do a lot of mowing. There's going to be a lot of hours put on this uh, Deutz Far. Plus, I don't have to drive two miles an hour down the road, and I can actually go up a hill. So that's why I went with it. And I still, you know what? I told you I was going to try to find the way into these damn farms. I still can't do it. I think it's got to be this driveway. Yep. So I am going to now, I am going to um, finish my wood chipping. Matter of fact, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to uh, sneak... Well, there's got to be, is that a gate up there? There's got to be a way into this field here. This is my field here up on the right. As you can see, I, where those two trees are out in the middle, I took the, close your eyes, I took the hedge out. I'm going to leave the trees on the outside. I'm going to leave a little border. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't want to go big, go home kind of thing. Um, I'm going to leave those trees. Well, there's, well, what is that right there? It's like a dirt path in here, but they forgot to put the darn fence in there. Look at that. I think there's supposed to be a fence in there. Um... Well, there's a fence here. Okay, fence here, dirt path there. That's something backwards. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to cut this tree down, and hopefully my wood chips don't go flying into the ground. Oh, you didn't turn on. You got to turn on there, wood chipper. Oh. Oh. I took care of the stump, but I didn't get the tree. That's kind of odd, isn't it? Uh, there you go. Oh. oh, see? Don't go on the ground. Don't be dumb. I'm losing all the I'm losing all the damn wood chips. It's really this is whoa crap. I'm doing a bouncy bouncy thing. Um, it's 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 annoying. It, it is annoying. And part of me says I shouldn't care. I should just go with it, you know, and because I got more trees to cut down. And then see, there you go, there you go. Oh, stop, stop it, stop it. See, look at that. I just lost pretty much that whole damn tree because I can't have a trailer because I already own a trailer. Um, I suppose I could sell that trailer. No, I want that trailer. Well, I bought it for the, I bought it for the water container. I could sell that. I could sell that trailer on that truck. That's stupid, but oh, I wanted. And I like that trailer. I like that truck. I can haul some stuff in there. I don't need a tractor to pull my trailer. There's no. Oh, oh you know what? I could have bought. Um, oh, hey, why didn't I do that? Why did I buy the Why did I buy the Beck Special Forge wagon? Because it's one hundred twenty one thousand dollars. That's why I didn't buy it. Um, because none of these are gonna None of these are gonna hold wood chips. Beck's a special one that holds wood chips. Uh, there's nothing else I can pull behind me that put wood chips in besides the trailer. Nothing in the miscellaneous section, is there? Um. Holy crap! Look at all the stuff I could have on a pickup truck. That's interesting. I'm trying to think, is there anything that I can make? Uh, no, 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 no. Nope. Nope. Manure spreaders. None of them are. None of them are going to be able to haul wood chips. Nope. That's all. That's all manure. Um, fertilizer spreaders aren't going to haul wood chips. Um, because I do own. I already own a low loader. Yep. I loan a low loader. Was there a was there a bale trailer that you could adapt? No, nope, that was a low loader that you could put a box. Oh, oh, I could do that. I think my um, where's he? Where is it? My low loader. Can I customize that and put a box on it? But then how am I gonna like? Oh, I have a bumper hitch. I have a bumper hitch. Yeah, I think I can customize that. Let's see. Low loaders. I have. Let's see. Which one do I have? I have um, this one here. Oh, I never thought about that function. Nurse, nurse bailers are load. Oh, I guess not. I don't know what a nurse trailer is. Um, I thought there was one that I could put. Hmm. What's a nurse trailer? I thought there was one I could put a box on. Maybe I'm wrong. Nope, that wasn't it. I could have swore there was something. See there, you can't do anything with it. Hmm. Well, I might just have to suffer through the, the stuff going in the ground until like I don't know. 
It just, it's just, it just aggravates the crap out of me. See, I'm going to lose this whole tree. I cut down this tree, and I'm going to lose the whole damn tree. Yep. I lost the whole tree. I lost all that money because this stuff has to fall on the ground. Okay, that can, that can stay, that can stay, that can stay, that can stay. So basically what I did is I just opened up these two fields. That is now going to be one field. And then I think I had, um, let's see. Oh, yeah. These two fields I opened up, or just three. Oh, yeah, this is that. So I opened up the hedge over here. So you will cut down these two trees. Yep, go to the ground. I don't care anymore. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. Just, just, yeah, I'll cut, I'll cut down the trees. And I won't make any money off the wood chips. Because all you're going to do is just go in the ground under the map. Fine. See, yep, see if I care. Stop it. I, I'm going to rage quit here in a second. 30,000 liters of wood chips. Look at They're all going into the ground. They're all going to be gone. Dumb. This, this is a stupid game. I don't know why people play it. Okay, so I took care of those two. So all I have left is those trees there. Wait, there was one more one more section I... I thought I took a hedge out. I don't own that field up there. That field's expensive. Um, is there one in here? Did I take this hedge out? Do I own this? No, this is the stuff I wanted to buy. This is the stuff I wanted to buy. Yeah, I wanted to buy these two. I would take out that hedge. I could have swore there was one more field that I had to open up. Let's see. Oh, 30. Where am I? 40, 41, 42... These are these three fields I opened up. Yep. 43 and 45 I opened. Oh, these two up here. Where are the two up here? Um, over here? Over yonder? Yeah, these two. Wait, I am so freaking confused. Um, well, maybe I did Maybe I did this one. Oh, this one? Oh, there's no trees in between them. This one. Okay, this one and this one. I guess there was no hedge. There had to have been a hedge in between them. Um, I am thoroughly confused now. Oops, wrong button. Oh, map. Oh, I was standing on the hedge. Oh, I took out the hedge already, but there was no trees in there. Okay, that must have been it. Yeah, the hedge would have been right in... Oh, yeah, you can see the grass there. That's where the hedge was, but there was no trees in there. Okay, that takes care of that. That takes care of that. So I got all the fields, hedges taken care of. They're all combined. What's going to stay is going to stay. I don't have enough money to buy. I don't have a loan. I have no, I have no money to buy those lands. What I could do, if my freaking wood chipper would um, keep the wood chippers in the wood chipper. Yep, there you go. Just go on the stinking ground. I guess I don't care anymore. There, stay in it, stay in there. There you go. Don't. Oh, seventy-five thousand. Oh, is, I thought it hold eighty. Oh, you know why I said eighty-three? Because I had the, my trailer hooked up to it last time, so then I had eight thousand liters. Okay, that's what it was. So seventy-five thousand liters. This uh, wood chipper will hold. So we'll go and sell this. Anyways, um, what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do is I have this load to sell. All I have left then to cut down would be, um, unless I could buy that. Because if I could buy uh, these this, this property here, I would have to take out this hedge. Uh, that tree could stay. And that's it. So just that one hedge, so there's no trees there. And then it does also come with this. I did a contract on this field once. This parcel of land, which would be one tree right in the middle. So basically all I have the trees by the farm and that tree left. And then I'm done. So basically, if I can get, what was I getting, 75,000 liters per load? So there's one load. How many loads do I have left here? One, two, three. I, I might have enough after I cut all these trees out to um, buy that parcel. And then I can borrow money to buy the equipment. But we'll do that next time. Thank you, my friends, for stopping today. I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoy Valley Spring. If you do, say hi. And uh, in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy. Have a beer on me. And we'll see you later. Cheers.